Hello IT Bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a Chromebook that is turning off and on all the time. As you can see here this Chromebook belongs to Noelia as you can read in the top left of the Chromebook itself and now I'm going to show you that this Chromebook is a Dell Chromebook 11 inches 3100 but this process is going to work for any other manufacturer and model as well. So first I'm going to show you what, what it does. I open the Chromebook, so it's going to turn on and we can see that it's doing that all the time. It turns on and off continuously after, I don't know, every seven seconds, every five seconds it's going to turn on, it shows us that message and then it turns off and it's going to do that continuously, right? So we cannot really appreciate what it says on the message because it goes super fast. So you can see it here, you can read it. Your system is applying a critical update. Please do not turn it off, but we don't need to turn it off because it's doing it by itself all the time. Now, um, I left the Chromebook connecting to the charger for about a day or more than 24 hours, waiting, hoping that the update is going to be finished, but it didn't work. So as many things in life, if you left a problem unattended, it's not going to fix itself, right? So we have to do something about it. So the first step we're going to do with this, um, with this Chromebook is we're going to connect it to the charger. Okay, so you can see the light there is going on and off depending on the state of the Chromebook itself. When it's turned on, it's going, the light's going to be on and when it's shut down, the light goes off. So as, as I mentioned a few seconds ago, we're going to connect the charger and then I press the power button, well, I did it before I record the video, I press the power button like I did in many other videos for Windows and Chromebooks for about uh, 15 to 20 seconds, but that didn't work. So that out of the list as well. So allow me a few seconds to uh, change my camera view. So the next thing we have to do then is to try to power wash it. So power wash means pressing these four keys, Control, Alt, Shift and R. Okay, but power washing also means that you are going to reset it to factory settings. So everything that you have stored in this Chromebook is going to be lost. So keep that in mind. So as you can see here, I'm pressing the three, the control Alt Shift, and then I'm pressing R, and then I'm pressing all of them at, at the same time, trying to catch the time when the Chromebook is on, but it's not working. So we try that, it's not working. So we need to do something else. So the next step, is going to be to reinstall the Chromebook operating system. And for that, we are we need to, that also means that you're going to lose everything. And just a reminder, subscribe to the channel and click the like button. So I'm going to do a close up. And in order to do that, to reinstall the operating system, we need to press escape, refresh, and the power button. Again, escape, refresh, and the power button. But besides that, we also need the operating system, right? So for that, the operating system is stored in this USB. I have, a, I have done a video in the past where I show how to create the bootable USB and to replace it on a Chromebook. So if you want to read that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below, and then you can come back here. So after you have the USB, you, can, you have to connect it to any, uh, any available port on the Chromebook. And then we have to press it, escape, refresh, and then power. As you can see me doing here, I'm trying to catch the time when the Chromebook is on, but still it's not working. As you can see, it's still flickering, it's still shutting down and turning on again. So I'm pressing again, and then I'm going to press it for a few seconds, as you can see me doing there. And the Chromebook is going to stop the process. So it's going to be like that, light on, and then we see this message. So I'm going to do a close up so you we can read it. You're about to recover your computer. Please make sure it's plugged to the power source. If you want to cancel a recovery, press the power button and hold it and hold it down until the computer turns off. This might take eight seconds. It is safe to cancel the process during well you can cancel it as well, but we don't want to do that. Then we don't press anything and this is going to show. This will take a few minutes. Please don't turn on the computer or disconnect the power. So the video is going to be sped up. As you can see here, it's spinning super fast. And this process in this specific model took around three minutes and a half, but it can, it can be more, it can be less depending on the processor that you may have, the model and all that, right? So after that, uh, we are going to wait a few more seconds and, it's, and it, everything goes well, it's going to show us 
this next message. System recovery is complete. Please remove the recovery media and your computer will restart automatically. So uh, in the video, again, I'm going to mention it, uh, on which I create the bootable USB to reinstall the operating system, the Chrome operating system. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. In that one, when I did this the first time, uh, it failed like two times on that video. The process is the same, but it fails like two times. So if that happens, you have to do all the process again or change the USB brand. Let's say you're using Samsung, you can use maybe SanDisk or something like that. Next, I disconnected the, the USB and the process goes on. You can see the Chrome, the Google logo, welcome. And then we're going to click, let's go. And next it's going to, to tell us, hey, you need to connect to a network because Chrome OS needs internet access. And then you can either, whether this is for your personal use, for your friend, or maybe for a company, in my case, it's for a, for a company, then you can join it to a domain uh, or the enterprise enrollment and all that. By the way, if you are also having problems with other Chromebooks, let's say the Chromebook is not turning on, uh, you need to replace the battery, the screen is black, or some other issues, I have a playlist that I created, so you can see many Chromebook related problems on that playlist if you need it. So I'm going to leave the link, the, the link in the description below, or you can, click, you can access that playlist clicking on the top right of this screen. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to troubleshoot a Chromebook that is shutting down and turning on constantly. OK, so if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.